Well, hi everyone, Steve Patterson here once again from PhotoshopEssentials.com. In this video, I'll show you how to enhance a sunset photo and restore those warm golden colors with Photoshop. Sunsets are one of the most widely photographed aspects of nature, yet our photos rarely do them justice. A sky once filled with rich golden hues often ends up looking cooler, more muted, and ultimately less interesting. In this video, I'll show you how to easily restore those vibrant reds, oranges, and yellows using a simple gradient map adjustment layer and a layer blend mode. I'll be using Photoshop CC, but every step is fully compatible with Photoshop. Photoshop CS6. Be sure to check out this tutorial on our website where you'll also find my complete text version. Thanks for joining me and let's get started. Here's the image I'll be using. I shot this one on a summer evening at the beach. I like the image overall with the sun setting across the water, but the colors look a lot more muted than I remember. Let's see how to bring those colors back to life. If we look in the layers panel, we see the image sitting on the background layer, which is currently the only layer in the document. To enhance the colors in the sunset, we'll use a gradient map image adjustment. But rather than applying the adjustment directly to the image and making a permanent change, we'll use an adjustment layer. Click on the New Fill or Adjustment Layer icon at the bottom of the Layers panel. Then choose Gradient Map from the list. Photoshop adds a gradient map adjustment layer, names it Gradient Map 1, and places it above the image on the background layer. Since the adjustment layer is separate from the image itself, nothing we do with the gradient map will be permanent. The original photo will always remain safe. Notice that after adding the gradient map adjustment layer, my image now appears in black and white. That's because of how gradient maps work. They let us map or assign different colors of a gradient to different tonal or brightness values in the image. We can use a gradient map to assign one color to the darkest areas of an image and a different color to the lightest areas. We could take it a step further and map a third color to the midtones. Or if we wanted, we could map the entire tonal range of an image to a rainbow of colors. And because we're working with gradients, Photoshop also always creates smooth transitions between the colors we've chosen. So why is my image black and white? Well, that's because by default, the gradient map uses Photoshop's foreground to background gradient, which means it's using a gradient based on our current foreground and background colors. By default, the foreground color is set to black and the background color is set to white. So my image has been mapped to black and white. Obviously, that's not what we want for a sunset, so let's see how to edit the gradient colors. You'll find the options for the gradient map adjustment layer in Photoshop's Properties panel. The preview bar shows us our current gradient colors. To edit the colors, click on the bar. This opens Photoshop's Gradient Editor, where we find a larger preview bar in the lower half of the dialog box. Notice the two little squares below each end of the gradient. These are called color stops, and we use them to edit the gradient colors. Well, let's start by changing the color on the left. This is the color that's mapped to the darkest tones in the image. To edit the color, double-click on the color stop. This opens the color picker, where we can select a different color. Let's choose a bright, saturated red. In the RGB section in the lower center of the color picker, set the R value, which stands for red, to 240. Set G for green to 15 and set B for blue also to 15. Then click OK to close the color picker. If we look at our image, we see the darker tones now appearing in red rather than black. Red may seem like an odd choice for the dark areas, but it will look a lot better when we change the blend mode of our gradient map adjustment layer, which we'll be doing in a moment. Next, let's change the color for the lightest areas. Back in the gradient editor, double-click on the white color stop below the right side of the gradient. This reopens the color picker. This time, we'll choose a bright saturated yellow. Set the R value to 245, the G value to 220, and the B value to 10. Then click OK to close the color picker. 
If we look in the preview bar in the gradient editor, we see that we now have a gradient that transitions from red on the left to yellow on the right. And because Photoshop blends the two colors together, we also have a nice orange in the middle, which is being mapped to the midtones in the image. Click OK to close out of the gradient editor. And here's what the image now looks like. To blend the gradient colors in with the image, all we need to do is change the blend mode of the gradient map adjustment layer. You'll find the blend mode option in the upper left of the layers panel. By default, the blend mode is set to normal. Click on the word normal and change the blend mode to overlay. As we can see, the overlay blend mode increases contrast in the image, making dark areas darker and light areas lighter. It also increases the color saturation. The darkest areas are now a deep red. The lightest areas are a vibrant yellow, and the midtones in between now have a warm orange glow. The only problem now is that the colors are too intense. Let's lower the intensity so it looks more like a sunset and less like the end of the world. To reduce the intensity, all we need to do is lower the opacity of the adjustment layer. The opacity option is directly across from the blend mode option in the layers panel. Keep an eye on your image as you lower the opacity to find the setting that works best. In my case, I'll lower it to 50%. And here's my final result. To compare the enhanced version of your sunset with the original image, click on the visibility icon for the gradient map adjustment layer in the layers panel. This temporarily turns the adjustment layer off, letting you see the original image. To see the enhanced version, click again on the same visibility icon to turn the adjustment layer back on. And there we have it. That's how to easily enhance a sunset photo and restore its warm golden colors with Photoshop. As always, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully you learned something along the way. And I hope to see you next time. I'm Steve Patterson from PhotoshopEssentials.com.